Well guys, welcome to another Pathways Wrap. Uh, looking at the weekend just gone, we had both our male senior Pathways teams make the big road trip down uh, to Canberra, uh, where they got to play the curtain raisers there at GIO Stadium. Uh, our first game of the day uh, saw our KOE New South Wales Cup uh, keep their season alive uh, with a big game, uh, with a nice tough 18 to 12 win in that one, which keeps them in uh, sixth spot as they continue to fight for a berth in the top five with two games to go. This was followed by our Jersey Flag Cup, uh, also taking on the Canberra Raiders in the main curtain raiser on the day. And after leading for the entirety of the match, uh, unfortunately the Raiders scored with two minutes to go on that one, uh, with the boys going down by six. And again, a massive effort by all involved, especially with the travel involved on the day. Uh, we're gonna look to our feature for this week. Uh, recently, we had our second last session uh, with our Southeast Queensland Elite Player Development Program up in uh, Brisbane. Let's uh, see what the cameras caught on that night. In its second year of existence now, our South East Queensland Elite Player Development Program is held out of the world-class facilities at the Marsden State High School in Logan, where they have their current Sports Excellence Centre, uh, both indoor and outdoor, uh, recovery and field, all available to our small group of 12 players on the evenings. The boys do a once a month training session uh, focused on the exact same curriculum uh, and football education that our Sydney-based Black Rabbits kids do. Uh, but we bring the coaching to them with some great staff uh, made up by uh, Jesse McLean, our head coach, Jonathan Dorr, our strength and conditioner, and our mentor in ex-player, Ethan Lowe. On the evening, we also have the opportunity to catch up with two of our graduates to come out of that program, who will be relocating to Sydney in the coming months to take up their adventure with our NRL pre-season. Let's see what those boys had to say. I started playing rugby league when I was eight years old. I was playing in England, playing footy, and then I um, moved over here. I took a little break from footy, but came back a couple of years ago. Yeah, my name's um, Hazen Mallers, 18 years old. Uh, centre wing, wing on my so. Basketball, one of my first loves um, for sport. I had a little gig with that. Got that probably from my mum's side of the family. My mum, she was a two-time Olympian for basketball, played for New Zealand on the 2008, actually, 2006. Uh, my dad played um, Super League over in England, so dad used to play NRL here, then had his little gig in, in, in England playing Super League, uh, so I just moved with him. Yeah, I'm um, Liam LeBlanc, and I'm um, 18 years old in September, and I play just middle forward. I uh, lived in, he was, he was with Parramatta with the Eels, but um, moved back to Goldie just recently, so. Like for me, um, coming out of a basketball background really, um, being fresh to, to the game again, coming back to footy, um, they, they teach me a lot here, um, especially with my position, like got Alex Johnson and a, lot, a bunch of gun wingers and centers out there, so. Um, they teach me a lot of position and specific stuff that really helps in my game. Um, I really like the defensive stuff as well that they've taught me um, in the ruck as well. But yeah, a lot of things I learned here. So. You just mentioned Alex Johnson, but you're probably going to try and take a spot one day. Ah, that's the goal, eh? That's the goal. Trying to, trying to. But no, good, um, good role models there, so. Oh, probably just to try and learn as much as I can from those those older model like older role models like you know, Cam Murray's and stuff in my position. Oh it's been awesome, yeah. And Joey's been really helpful um, with the development, especially bringing Lowy on. Like he's he's kind of played that middle, middle area as well. So the one on one time I get with him, that's pretty handy for me. And they yeah, just this whole margin facility is pretty awesome, this gym and stuff. So it's been really helpful. Next year I'll be doing a full pre-season with the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Uh, me and a couple of other boys here, we're moving down to Sydney just before November for pre-season. Um, and then we'll be training um, training with the first grade squad. So. Okay. Mixed emotions, but you know, can't wait to just head down, work hard, do what I can and learn. Yeah, so. oh, nervous, but like way more excited, 100%. Like, obviously it's a, big, it's a big move for me. And yeah, definitely Ken Murray and Jai Arrow, just the they just had a tough work, like tough and got a huge work rate, like which I kind of play. That's how I kind of want to play my game. So it'd be pretty cool to meet them, the trail as well. Just, yeah, trail mitt. Just to have them to help me develop those strengths should be, should hopefully be helpful. Yeah. 
Great to catch up and see everything going on with our SEQ program, and we can't wait to see that program continue to go on in leaps and bounds over the next couple of years. Looking ahead to the games this week, we have two games left uh, in our senior male pathways rounds. Uh, we have our KOE New South Wales Cup uh, out at Combank Stadium on Friday in the curtain raiser in another massive match in that competition with fifth versus six with final spots on the line. And then our Jersey Fleet Cup will look to again attempt to finish their season on a positive note as they head out to Ring Rose Park on Saturday also to take on the Parramatta Reels. As always, please keep an eye on our website for all kickoff times and details.